Now, even if you haven't taken a course in biology, you probably know that if you open just about any biology book, and mine is a pretty good example, you'll very quickly come to a chapter which tells you all about evolution. And we have this sort of thing as well. Why is it? Well, many biologists would say very simply that evolution is the central organizing theory of the biological sciences. A very famous biologist once wrote that nothing in biology makes sense except in light of evolution. Other people have said that without evolution, biology is just stamp collecting. Now what they meant by that, and I used to be a stamp collector, so it's not a slur on stamp collectors, is that without evolution to tie things together, the characteristics of organisms are just a bunch of isolated facts. And what evolution actually does is to show how those facts fit together. So how do you explain evolution? I was thinking about that when I was preparing to, to meet you this morning. And one way to do it would be the way that Charles Darwin did, which is to write a book. And Charles Darwin explained evolution in The Origin of Species, depending upon the edition, um, that it's uh, about 400, 455 pages. So one good way to spend much of the time in this lecture would be for me to open page one and start reading The Origin of Species. And I hope that at some time in your life, I'm not kidding about this, every one of you reads The Origin of Species. And the reason for that, I know it looks old and I know it looks dusty. This is a great book and it is still a great book. And when you read books written as this was 150 years ago, you find yourself connecting with the thought of somebody who lived at a different time, in a different society, in a different century, a different era. And you will connect with Darwin. Just read one chapter of it. You'll see exactly what I mean. But that would take a little long. So I thought, well, explain evolution in 455 pages, too long. We need a shorter time period. And where would you find a shorter time period? Um, how about we explain evolution in 30 seconds of the sort that a poor, unsuspecting scientist might ask, be asked to do if he went on the Colbert Report with Stephen Colbert. So here you're going to hear an explanation of evolution in 30 seconds. <laughs> 